Yo, what's up fam and welcome back to the channel and all that other good stuff. And if this is your first time on the channel, what's up fam? Welcome to the channel. So today I'm just cooking up some beats uh, using the uh, Roly Noise app and the uh, Roly Blocks um, light pad block. And that's just something I've been gravitating more towards lately, especially when it comes to creating some uh, random ideas and getting some some nice beat loops going or some melodies going inside of the Rolling Noise app. So today I'm going to talk about how to export the noise that you make inside the Noise app and then export it into any DAW that you want, you know, whether that's Beatmaker 3, Logic Pro, GarageBand, whatever DAW that you're using. I'm going to show you how to export those loops into WAV files so that you can start manipulating them and uh, using them in the other beats. So, all right, so as you can see, I already have started a, a couple of different random loops here. Um, so, yeah, let's, let me see. So I'm just gonna go connect the, uh, the Roly Block light pad. And then uh, we can go ahead and get started. So I have this loop going. This is like a drum loop that I already did. This is like a drum loop that I've already did um, earlier. It should start sounding familiar to you a little bit. It's just something I've been playing around with. So now that we have that loop going, um, what we oh shoot, what did I do? All right, so now that we have that loop going, we can go ahead and go outside of the app. Um, not outside of the app, but outside of that beat. And then I already named it Liberian Girl because that's the type of, you know, that's the song that I emulated using this, uh, using this app. So you're going to go ahead and hit the three dots, which is the menu button on that beat. And then you can see that it says like duplicate change the name or export or delete so what we want to do is export it and we can either save them um, save them as a uh, Ableton live set so you can import them straight into your Ableton live session and manipulate them that way but if you're not native to Ableton and you want to use a different DAW you can also export these loops as WAV files and what you do is uh, go ahead and select the loops and it'll export it right 
So once it exports, it'll take a little bit of time to export and turn those in those individual loops into WAV files. And once it exports, it'll turn it into a uh, a zip file. Once it turns it into a zip file, it'll give you an option to share it uh, into another application. So what we're gonna do is open up our um, you can either share it to audio share or um, you can open them up into a you can airdrop them to another device so what we're gonna do is airdrop them to my iPad from 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 one iPad to another iPad and then on this iPad you can see that it says that um, it's ready to receive the files and we're gonna go ahead and open up um, we're gonna open these files up in beatmaker 3 and since they opened up in BeatMaker 3, you can see that the uh, unzip folders are in the imports directory. So let's close out BeatMaker 3 just to make sure that they're in there. So we're going to go ahead and start a new session um, in BeatMaker 3 and then open up our uh, sample, our imports folder. Let's go to imports and then you can find it here. There it is, right there, over here in uh, in this in this folder right here. So it un so what BeatMaker three did was uh, it did did you a favor and unzip the files already. So all you have to do is bring in the actual clips. But in most cases, you'll have a zip file with all those files with all these WAV files in there. So that's our original that's our original uh, our beat loop. can do in that case is go ahead and set up our our session for beatmaker 3 but first we need to know what the tempo was for this uh, session so let's go into Liberian girl and then uh, check out we're gonna check out the clip and we have it set to 95 beats per minute since we know that it's 95 beats per minute what we can do is actually pull those samples in. Actually, we're going to create some audio tracks. Let's create about five or seven. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're going to pull these. We're going to pull these uh, audio. We're going to pull these audio tracks over into the uh, into the sequencer. All right, so once we have that dragged into the into BeatMaker 3, we're going to go ahead and double tap on the 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 loop. And then we're going to drag the BPM down to its original BPM, which is 75. I mean 95. So now we're working with the 95 BPMs on that original sample, and then we're going to turn on uh high quality live stretching. That way we can speed up or slow down our loops and the uh, the original loop will snap to whatever global tempo we set it to. And then you're going to repeat this step for pretty much all of the... Uh, you're going to repeat this same exact step for pretty much all of the... Um, all of the loops that you pulled in from the Rolly Noise app. Live stretch, high quality. And then since we have like since we have this one is two different drum loops, I'm going to put a effect on one of these. All right, so I'm gonna put a uh, modulation delay on this one as well as a uh, a filter, and I'm gonna turn it, turn it up just a little bit. Bring that out like that. So now that you hear the effects on that particular drum loop, let's go ahead and bring the the melodic stuff in. Alright, 
so let's bring that in and then run the same protocol on it okay so now we can start adding stuff to it and um let's see what it started let's see what it sounds like Yeah, but that's pretty much how I pull my samples into Beatmaker 3 um, from the Rolly Noise app just to get some ideas and stuff going. So if you have any ideas or melodies or even drum loops built up inside of the Rolly Noise app, even on your cell phone, while you're on the go using, you know, using the uh, Rolly light pad block, um, you can e you can actually export these into um your iPad to another laptop or desktop computer you can even export them and use that zip file and send them to a friend and they can finish the song off so yeah so that's pretty much what you would do with that zip file that um, Rolly Blocks gives you after you after you export that song yo I hope this video was helpful to somebody in their workflow using the Rolly Blocks light pad or even the noise app without the Rolly Blocks light pad yeah you can export these and send them to a friend or um, you take it home and even finish it yourself. So if this video was helpful to you, go ahead and hit that like button. And for more tips and tricks on how to improve your workflow when you're making these types of beats in these type of scenarios, go ahead and hit my playlist for iOS music production. I go over tons of stuff, including Beatmaker 3, uh, Rolly Noise apps and all that stuff. And I got tons more videos on the way using the Rolly Blocks light pad, using all the other MIDI controllers, including some more Beatmaker 3 tutorials. So stick around for that. Once again, this has been your boy Brandon Rico, back again with another tutorial. And remember, if I can create like this, then you can create like this. So see y'all in the next video. Be sure to hit that like button. Peace out, y'all.